the CIBC research goals are in the areas of visualization, biomedical modeling and simulation, image analysis, as well as software development. The goal of all of these projects is to facilitate the science, facilitate the medicine using computational techniques, using the software that we develop as part of the CIBC. Each one of the projects calls upon a different skill set, a different set of software tools, and we try very hard to adapt to the needs of the individual investigators, physicians, scientists in their use of our software. We're also in a position now to adapt the software, to customize the software, because it is so highly modularized to make it not just a general purpose tool for their needs, but to make it something very specific that fits within their workflow. One of the projects we're particularly excited about within the CIBC is a collaboration with a group of scientists and physicians here at the University of Utah who are carrying out research and developing new clinical methodologies for the treatment of a disease known as atrial fibrillation. I'm so impressed with the talent uh, on the leadership of uh, Rob McLeod to uh, be more focused with us under the leadership of Karma to tackle and attack uh, atrial fibrillation as a disease. To treat atrial fibrillation requires a number of techniques, pharmacological techniques, electrophysiological techniques, and what we've brought to this plan of treatment and evaluation of patients is an image processing and image analysis approach that is unique and is really defining how patients are treated now at the University of Utah and at other clinical centers around the world. With this group, I feel very comfortable and we are so uh, blessed to have all this talent together to hopefully save lives, and hopefully cure every stroke that's associated with atrial fibrillation. The role of the CIBC was central to this project in that the investigators, the scientists who are trying to treat AFib and use magnetic resonance imaging or MRI analysis for their treatment of patients was they simply didn't have the quantitative tools, the tools that allowed them to isolate the portions of the heart that are relevant for evaluating the patients, uh, for quantifying the extent of, of disease in these hearts. CIBC produces software, particularly a project called SEG3D, which is uh, developed to evaluate different tissue types within image analysis within three-dimensional image data sets uh, specifically from MRI. So we're able to take an MRI scan from a patient and identify those regions of the heart that are relevant for these physicians and then even within those regions to differentiate between the healthy tissue and the disease tissue. So the physicians are using the analysis and the data and the numbers they get from CIBC software to determine the treatment and management of patients, to mix in with the other factors that they take into consideration when they're deciding on treatment. We're also able to use these same tools to follow up on the treatment. So when a patient has completed their evaluation, goes into therapy, we can follow up immediately after the therapy, three months, six months, a year down the road, and see if the therapy has actually had the desired effect.